My name is Patrick, and you're watching the Oilers Rundown. Some breaking news just as I was sitting down to record. The Edmonton Oilers have officially recalled Marcus Niemelainen from the Bakersfield Condors and sent down Brad Malone. The Oilers will now be going with 12 forwards and 7 defensemen for tomorrow night's game against the Buffalo Sabres. And speaking of tomorrow night's game, I'm going to have to eat some crow. I predicted Jack Campbell would get the start against Buffalo. I thought Jay Woodcroft would want to get him back in there, get him going. But Stuart Skinner, he was scheduled to get the start against the Buffalo Sabres. And after that performance against the Calgary Flames on Saturday night, he's definitely deserving of it. So look for Stuart Skinner between the pipes tomorrow night for the Edmonton Oilers. According to Tom Gazzola, the Oilers will also be wearing their third navy blue jersey for tomorrow night's game. And one final note for tomorrow night's game... I will once again be at Rogers Place, so I'll try and do a quick little pregame thing for you guys, and then I will do my postgame fanatic rundown live from Rogers Place. Unfortunately, without Tyson from Dolly TV this time, so you're just stuck with me. But I will do my best running solo tomorrow night, and hopefully after the game, we're all celebrating a big victory over the Buffalo Sabres. Here's a quick look at the lines from Monday's practice. Evander Kane was with Connor McDavid and Kyler Yamamoto. Zach Hyman was with Leon Dreisaitl and Jesse Pugliarvi. Dylan Holloway was with Ryan Nugent Hopkins and Warren Fogel. And Devin Shore, Ryan McLeod, and Derek Ryan made up the fourth line. And hopefully a much stronger start tomorrow night can keep those lines together. On defense, Darnell Nurse was with Cody Ceci. Brett Kulak was paired with Tyson Berry. And Ryan Murray was paired with Evan Bouchard. And as I mentioned earlier, Stuart Skinner gets the start tomorrow night for the Edmonton Oilers. And one final note, Tyson mentioned on Dolany TV yesterday that he heard Philip Broberg may actually be nursing an injury. That could be some of the story behind Broberg's poor training camp. Don't know, maybe it's unrelated, but definitely a story to follow. I didn't hear anything from the major sources today, but uh, Tyson might have an update for us over at Dolany TV, so make sure to check out the latest from Tyson if you haven't already. That's all for now, guys. Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Take care, guys. I'll see you live tomorrow night from Roger's Place.